So now let's do a practical application of working with functions inside of Excel. And the one I'm gonna focus in on is designing out a uh, monthly payment calculator for a loan. I know, super, super interesting. But if you're like most adults, uh, you have loans and you need to figure out how to pay them. And you need to probably figure out how long you're going to be paying them. And you maybe you don't wanna pay loans, get out of debt. Uh, or you're like me and you just bought a car. So now I have the luxury of trying to figure out you know, how many uh, payments, uh, well, what kind of monthly payments I can afford if I wanna try and pay it off in say four years. Well, I did get lucky. I got uh, 2.39 percent as my annual interest rate so that's pretty nice how many payments do I plan on making a year well there are 12 months in a year so I'm gonna say I'm gonna be making 12 payments in a year you know that's when I get paid might as well be doing that right now this is where things get a little funky don't worry about that rate thing just yet but I'm saying what's my interest rate per period why why does that matter it's because I just said I'm gonna make 12 payments per year so I have 12 payment periods per year so what I'm asking is what is the interest rate per payment period now how do I figure that out well luckily I start with the equal sign again in Excel this is telling Excel everything after this equal sign is a mathematical equation I need you to evaluate it out first and again it would be B1 my annual interest rate divided by my B2 my payments per period and as soon as I hit enter, I get this really ugly looking number. But luckily, I know how to solve that. If I select that number, I have this numbers section that I can work off of. And if I click on that little percent symbol right there, that turns it into a percent. Now, I wish that I magically just now had 0% interest uh, every month, but that's not really the reality of it. I only I have no decimal places being displayed here. So what I have to do is, again, just like I did, I clicked on the percent symbol, I have the increase decimal symbol. And if I click on this three times, one, two, three, you see that we get 0.199% being applied. So we keep on going. How many years do I plan on uh, paying this off? Or how many years do I hopefully want to be paying this off before it's done? I said I want to pay it off in four years. So now I'm saying, okay, well, how many payments am I making? How many total payment periods am I making? Again, I have 12 payments per year. I have four years that I want to be doing this. I'm gonna, instead of just doing 48, yeah, I know that's a good number, but instead I'm gonna say, all right, well, instead I'm gonna go with B2 times B4. That way if I want to ever change this, I can. Now, loan amount. Again, this is now how much did I finance for my car? Well, I actually got uh, $12,000 financed, I know, at 2.39%, amazing. But again, if I wanna jazz this up and I wanna style this up, if I select that, again, I have the dollar sign, my account number formatting, and I can do that. Now, monthly payment, PMT. This is where we start to get into, okay, how would I even know to use these types of uh, functions? Uh, you know, how would I know that there's a loan payment calculator function inside of Microsoft Excel? One is if I click on the formulas tab, you notice that we have a function library that lets me do all of these different possible ones. Again, though, they're not gonna be very beneficial if I don't know what they all do. What I can do, however, is I can click on this insert function button and that actually gives me a dialog box menu that allows me to look for something. Now, it's already up here, but if I don't know what I'm doing and I need to just kind of wing it, say for example, I, I would really like to uh, know the function for calculating out the square root. I type out square root and I hit enter. Guess what? The first thing that pops up SQRT is a function for calculating out the square root. It's pretty nice. But again, I'm dealing with a uh, loan payment. Again, super interesting. As soon as I hit enter, notice the first option, that PMT. That's exactly what we're working with right here because context clues, you can already guess. But if I hit okay, I get a new dialog box that pops up. 
And I'm going to just move it down here for a second so we can see. And rate in per PV, guess what? We happen to have those readily available to us. Those are the things that we actually were referring to when we calculated out our annual interest rate or our interest rate per period, our total number of payments and our loan value. So the first one is I'm simply going to say inside of rate B3, B3. Notice what it appears. Right beside there, I get a little sneak preview of what this is going to do. In per, in per again, that's my 48, which is in B5. Now, present value. Present value, notice it's the only, it's the last bolded number, meaning it's the last required uh, parameter inside of my function. After that, I can just hit enter and uh, I'm done. Uh, but present value, if I say, again, it wasn't, uh, it was B6, I already get a little sneak preview of what these answers are. Uh, you can see there's a, a little number there. But just to talk about them, FV, for example, FV is a future value. Uh, say, for example, instead of this being a loan payment, it's a uh, savings. I want to say that uh, in uh, four years' time, I want. Uh, how, what, how many payments do I need to be making uh, at 2.39% interest to make my balance $15,000? Know, I got to be paying $5,000. That's a lot. But that's what future value does. Now, type. Type actually is now saying uh, when will my interest be applied? Uh, do I make my payment at the beginning of the year or the beginning of the month, you know, March 1st? Or do I make my payment at the end of the month, March 31st? Again, we don't need to worry about those. We just need to go ahead and hit OK. And what we're going to see is we're going to see a mathematical equation. We're going to see the parentheses. We're going to see uh, 262. And that is my kind of little accounting uh, way of showing I'm at a deficit. Now, again, I can format that to anything I want. If I want to just change it to accounting style, I can. Uh, again, the parentheses are to indicate this is a negative number. Now. The reason why we did it the way we did it is what if things change? What happens if you know you're not as lucky or you're even luckier than I am and you you know finance a brand spanking new car? You know, you go out and you buy the latest uh, Hyundai or something like that. Well, guess what? You're probably gonna get something really low, like maybe 0.9% interest. And guess what happens? Now you're probably also not making twelve thousand dollars if you're doing like a the uh, Elantra. You're probably spending more about uh, twenty thousand dollars. So suddenly, guess what? I can now see. I can pay off a new brand spanking twenty fifteen Hyundai Elantra uh, or Toyota Camry or Prius or whatever uh, by doing this mathematical equation. 